And I just can't understate how concerned people are about national security, how concerned people are about the fact that the borders are not being secured. And it, this is about heroin and opioid. This is about ISIS. It's not about a, a demographic. It's not about Latinos. It's not at all about that. Um, uh, one of my longest serving employees is a woman from Oaxaca. She's a beautiful person. She helps me with my Latino outreach. I do my bilingual town hall meetings with her. It is not about that. It is about the rule of law. It is about this country being, you know, knowing who is coming and who is going and then getting these laws right so that they work. And the last point I would make, and I've been working on immigration reform a long time, for, since before I was elected to Congress, we need to have reforms that are lasting. We tried fixing this in 1996, that didn't work. Uh, it, we started with 1986, that didn't work. Then we went to 1996, and basically since 2006, George Bush made a really good try. I supported that effort. We haven't been able to fix it. And we have to come together and figure this out, but I don't think that this year is going to happen because of, of the executive amnesty and the run around Congress and how that poisoned the well and sent us into a court battle. We had our lawyer in court just a week ago arguing these cases, not based on really immigration, but based on the rule of law. So at the end of the day, we need to fix this problem. It's broken. And don't forget the rule of law and security is, is, is paramount to have that first as a confidence building measure to make sure that people really believe that the laws will be enforced so that when we do immigration reform, it's lasting. It doesn't last five or 10 years like the last three times we tried it. It actually works for a long time to come. Let me exercise moderator's prerogative here and just ask one follow-up because we're talking about millennials today, talking about young people. And there are a lot of young people out there who are worried about a family member sure. being deported. And they may have just heard your answer and heard a lot of process yeah. about executive orders and the president and runs speak to that person yeah so like dreamers um, right speak to that person and allay their concern so the, the the way to solve a problem is not treat the symptoms the way to solve a problem is to solve the root cause of the problem and the root cause of the problem is a fundamentally broken system it's a system that we don't know who is coming and going in this country and in a day of heroin and ISIS and, and, and drug cartels, it's a real threat to our national security. Uh, we're in the middle of writing all this opioid legislation because of this problem coming from our borders. And if we can fix the root cause of fixing our immigration laws, and I'm, I'm a person who believes that for the undocumented, we have to come up with a solution that doesn't involve mass deportations, that involves giving people the ability to get right with law, to, to come and earn a legal status, while we fix the rest of legal immigration, which, by the way, I think is broken, it takes forever to get a visa. There, there, are, there are industries that can't find people. And also, let's make sure that people who can't find jobs, who are Americans, get those jobs first. So we've got to make sure we get these details right. It's not quick and easy. But if we treat the root cause of the problem, then these symptoms, like dreamers, and the fear of, of your family being broken up will be solved if we get at the root cause of these things.